Penny Pegs. Oh, yeah. Light packers, aren't you? We've had a lot of practice. <laughs> ah, there's Mr. Cochran now. A great man, Conal Cochran. A true genius. Daddy! Watch it's writing, honey. You could have killed that man. I didn't hurt it. Hey, sorry about that. Glad it didn't hit you. Had a great big thank you for taking it up. You all right? No problem. Hey, buddy Cuff for San Diego. <laughs> this is my wife, Betty. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> and right there's little buddy. Is it busted? No. Don't you dare go in the street! Do you hear me? I gotta go. I'll be checking you in now, sir. I filled out the register. I left $40 under the blotter. That about cover it? Oh, heavens, yes. Thank you, sir. Uh, have a pleasant stay. Mr. Cuffer, I presume. Your rooms are away. Okay. Damn factory. Got their orders all screwed up. Now have to stay in this dump again. place is a zoo. I saw Cochran, his car anyway. And your old man stayed here on the 20th. I was right. We'll go directly to the factory. We'll Whoa, find out hold exactly on. Slow down. Slow down. It's getting late. I could use a drink. Let's take our time. It's okay with you? To stay, I mean. I, uh, I think these uh, clothes could probably hold out for at least one more day. Maybe I ought to get another room. That would look sort of suspicious, wouldn't it? What I mean is, if you'd uh, feel more comfortable, uh, I could sleep in the car. Be better on this floor, anyway. Where do you want to sleep, Dr. Chalice? That's a dumb question, Miss Grimpich. Thank you. Have a very pleasant evening.